This is the KNF Concept Nano X Pro Series filter. It's something that I've been looking at for a little bit of time here recently, just to see whether or not it would actually upgrade my photography arsenal. Straight out the gate, I quite like the box. It's a nice hinged lid that seems that you would keep a nice book inside. Magnetic filters just on the underside here and here, which whenever closed, give that satisfying snap. But that's not what we're here for. It's for what is inside. Very nice presentation uh, on the actual packaging itself. We'll get that out of the road. And straight into the gate here, here we have the filter ring lock itself. That was very ungraceful, taking that out. Full metal construction. Two slots to slide in filters just into the side there. You have a locking mechanism here, which is a twist lock, or twist to unlock. You have your dial control for your CPL filter there. On the top, this part here seems to be where your filter is located. It's a nice wee pop. Again, full metal construction for that as well. It's quite nice. And if you can see it on the back there, whenever you're closing that into place, if it's not locked in, it does have this CPL error sign. And there's a nice satisfying click whenever that's locked into place as well. Going through the rest of the box, there seems to be a spare couple of screws. Here we have this lovely leather or leatherette case. Again, I've seen concept logo on the front of it. Now I've seen some of these cases where they are fat jumbo sized cases. And quite frankly, I think that's a bit bulky for a camera bag. However, this will fit nicely in any camera bag being slotted in or just slipped in there. Opening the case over again, magnetic locks on the top side and it seems to have this pull release tab, which whenever pulled, presents the internal side of things here. Now, if you refer to my previous video, I do use filters on occasion. And sort of what the draw for me to this one was, I was looking at buying a polarizing filter just for if I was taking up a wee bit more landscape photography. Now, having filters is fine, but as you can see, here is a couple of my Cinebloom filters. There's 72, which will go on the lens that I'm recording with at this moment in time, which is the Canon 24 to 105. It has a 72 millimeter circumference on the front of it. And then this is the 82 Cine lens, which would go on my big hulking beast of the Canon 85 millimeter lens. And it's all about these thread sizes in the front for me. Now, whilst using one or two lenses is fine, screw on a filter, happy days. It means you're buying double filters, and especially whenever your filters cost money and are made of high quality glass, these two are tied optic filters, it starts to bulk up. So I do have an 1000 ND Gobi filter there that I use on my 24 to 105. And likewise, I believe this is my 1000 ND filter on my Canon 85mm lens. Now, if I was to use those lenses interchangeably, well, I would have to buy two, which in this case I have. However, this ring system seems to alleviate that problem. It is a one size fits all. It comes with a couple of step up rings for 67 millimeters, 72 millimeters, 77 millimeters, and 82 millimeters. So that covers a wide range of different variety lenses and lens thread types, especially if I was to go out and buy a new lens. Digging a wee bit deeper, we have just a piece of cardboard. And it seems these are going to be our step up rings. It seems they're coming all individually packaged. We'll try and find the 82 millimeter ring, which is this one here. This is the 82 millimeter adapter ring. So opening that up, taking that out. Again, full metal construction, which is quite nice, means it's not too flimsy. That's not going to break anytime soon. Pop off the lens cap on my 85 millimeter lens. There we go, that's that threaded on there. However, can we still use our lens cap with it, which is the main important thing? No, we cannot. So that's actually a bit of a design flaw on their part. I can't use my pre-existing lens cap, which leaves obviously the glass exposed, which is something that you don't want to do. Poor design on that element. Obviously unscrew the associated knob, open that up. 
Okay, so I actually took the threading off that to get that in there because it's actually quite difficult to slot it in. Not sure whether or not you can see it. Right here, there is a lip that seems to accept the ring. Dip the ring in underneath that lip, let that drop down and slot into place. That's fine moving that ring about whenever you have no lens attached to it. And then obviously it can lock that up. But whenever a lens is attached to it, that's actually pretty damn awkward. Well, there's the secondary problem that I'm already seeing. You can see the knob is touching the outer part of the camera, which in turn isn't letting that screw on. So the locking nut or the locking knob is rubbing up against that frame there off the lens, which again, very poor design feature. This is not going up and over the 85 millimeter lens because this knob is actually grating against the side of the lens frame itself. Stepping away from the lens issues for a minute or two, I'll just show you how this all goes together. Obviously this here is our CPL filter. Pop that open. Again, it's a lovely glass case. And there is our filter. Pop open that feature there. Not sure whether or not this goes in any particular way, but slotting that just in there and letting that close over nice and gently. It clicks into place and then using that dial feature to twist and turn that. But we'll leave it in there because this system is designed to hold and do dual features. So for example, if I was doing a landscape photography shoot of a waterfall or something like that there, you can pop open this filter here and there is our ND1000 filter. Again, it's inside this little case. That's plastic, that case. It was doing so well with the ring design being metal, but that there is plastic and you can feel the bend in it. Anyway, you take this and you are meant to slot this. That slots in just like that and you push that down home and then there's your ND1000 filter on top of your CPL as well. And it's quite nice that it does have a secondary slot where you can slot in another filter, be it a graduated filter or something else. Uh, then you have that option as well. But having a look at this system and this rig, it's quite nice. It's not too bad for the money. It does feel premium in terms of its cost and application. The only problem that we've ran into so far was the actual mounting system on the 85 millimeter lens. I'm gonna swap this around change out the lenses and see whether or not this actually works on my 24 to 105. We'll do our lens cap test just to see whether or not the lens cap goes on. And again, nope. Again, finding that wee lip in the underside, popping that in and there we go. Locking that in place. Yeah, that works perfectly on the 24 to 105. Obviously it is a lot thinner of a lens and this wee locking mechanism isn't going to interfere with any of the actual camera parts. So to me, that actually makes this whole entire system redundant. Uh, I must say the packaging is fantastic. The materials that have been used in this KNF concept ring look phenomenal, but I got this to have a replacement CPL filter that I could mount on the front of my lenses so that I could take and endeavor into landscape photography a wee bit more. But it seems this kit doesn't work with my 85 millimeter lens, which might be okay. Will it work with the potential down the line? I know it won't work with the 10 to 20 millimeter lenses, but it might work with the 15 to 35. But again, I do not own those lenses at this moment in time. I have two 1000 ND filters for this uh, lens and the lens that I'm currently recording on. There we go. That has been my unboxing and testing and review of the KNF Concept Nano X Pro Series filter. After recording this, I will need to sit down and have a serious think. I'm more than likely going to return this because it actually just makes my system altogether more complex instead of actually easing up the process that I have in my photography. And the money might be better spent on the actual filters themselves, just seeing how they work. 
It seems to be a really missed opportunity on KNF Concepts part on the Nano Series Pro X there for Canon lenses, especially the RF range. It seems to work great on lenses that are going to be zooming in and out. But as I've said, you know, looking at these rings again, that was a missed opportunity. You're not going to want to leave your glass exposed. So you want maybe an integrated system where the lens cap will fit back inside the lens cap there. But I mean, looking at another side, look at that. There's no, no way at all that's going to fit inside that, which again, missed opportunity for them to integrate some of their systems to make sure that you're protecting the glass that you're using. This was meant to be a quick fix kit, one size fits all to accommodate all my lenses. And while it does accommodate one of my lenses, well, I do believe we'll be turning back to my tried and tested Gobi ND1000 filter. That fits my 24 to 105. And I do have another ND filter ready and available for my 85 Canon lens. Folks, this has been my unboxing and review of the KNF Concept Nano X Pro Series filter. Thanks for watching. I do believe I'll be turning back to my tried and tested. <laughs>